Today, I'm going to show you how to create handwritten animated graphics using an iPad, Procreate, and DaVinci Resolve. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt and this is Dwyer Creatives. And as I just said, I'm going to be showing you how to create handwritten animated graphics like these using an iPad, Procreate, and DaVinci Resolve. Now it is 2 Minute Tuesday, so let's put 2 minutes on that clock. First thing you want to do is go ahead and open up your Procreate application and create a new page. Now on the background layer, we're going to turn this into a shade of green. Next you want to go to your top layer and make sure you are drawing in a white brush or for me I'm using a white brush and then pick your brush. Now here is where you're going to just go ahead and go to your screen recording and start that process to create graphics like this. I'm just going to go ahead and do arrows while it's screen recording. From here, you'll go ahead and take this file and now send it over to your computer. Now, one thing you can do to speed up this process, which you can do this in DaVinci Resolve, but if you want to go ahead and do this here, is go ahead and just crop this. And you want to make sure that there's no border. So you're going to be cropping out everything that isn't green, saving it, and then you would just take this file and send it over. After opening up DaVinci Resolve, you want to go ahead and set your project up. You're going to take your files from Procreate that you downloaded and import them in. Now I'm going to take this file here and what I'm going to do is set my in and out points at the beginning and the end. So in point here, out point once it's finished there i'm just going to drop this onto a timeline now from here when you play it you're going to see your animation with the green screen what we're going to do is come over here into the color tab and we're going to add alpha output you want to go ahead and connect both ends to it so going in going out you want to go over here into the qualifier click that go ahead and click the green on your green screen and as you can see that's inverted so you want to swap that around now you're gonna have most likely a green little border here there's a few ways to deal with it but i found the easiest way is to just take your saturation and get rid of it now when you go over into your edit tab you can see here i'm going to just make this into the second track and drop a color behind here now right now it is black but I want to change that to a different color. Let's say purple. Choose that purple. Now, as you can see here, you have a purple background. So when it plays, it is a transparent background for your animation. Now, what you can also do is go ahead and move it around, put it wherever you want. You can change the angle of it. You can change the size, make it smaller or bigger. Put this wherever you need to in your project. And there you go. Now, if you want to save this as something you can use again for a project later on, I would do is go ahead, make this size and put it exactly where you want it. So I'm going to keep it right there. You're going to come over here to your deliver tab. The next thing you want to do is get ready to export your video. I have mine set up for YouTube, so I'm going to I'll come over here to custom export export video formats going to stay quick time codec is going to be this dnxhr we're going to leave pretty much all of this where it is except for export alpha now when you export it out it'll have the transparent background and to double check that we're going to have to bring that in here so let's go ahead and add that to the render queue and export it. We're gonna bring this file back in here and we're just gonna use the same timeline. So I'm gonna delete that and drop it on there. If we hit play, you'll see that it has a black background. So we wanna make sure that this is transparent. We're gonna come into the edit tab and do the same thing. Move that file up to video two, drop a solid color behind it. Make sure, I guess it's the same link. Uh, we are gonna to come to color, pick a color. I'll choose purple again. And as you can see here, the background is now transparent for your animation. Now, what you can also do is if you come in to here, change the duration, change the speed, how fast or how slow you want this animation to be. And again, you can put it wherever you want. So there you go. That's how you create these handwritten animated graphics. If you have any questions or comments on this, leave those down in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.